This is Lenny Farley, Purdue Extension Forester, and this is a Woodland Management Moment. In this Woodland Management Moment, we're going to talk about the forest understory. And it is a particularly noticeable aspect of the forest this time of year. This is early April. And it's the time of year we see the spring ephemerals up and blooming. And what we mean by spring ephemerals, it's those plants that pop up quite early in the spring blossom and set seed prior to there being a lot of shade in the overstory. So they're kind of taking advantage of that sunlight before the leaves are set on these big trees overhead. There's a lot of wonderful plants in this understory. We have things like cutleaf toothwort, also sometimes called crow's foot, spring beauties, wild flocks not quite yet in blossom, but we also have some damaging plants. This is an invasive. This is a garlic mustard. And it has bolted. This is its second growing season. It's a biennial. And it's just about ready to start popping flowers and can produce loads and loads of seed from those flowers. And so that's one in terms of management. We're going to pop it out of here, get rid of it, so it doesn't produce a bunch of seed to create problems for us in the future. We also can find tree seedlings, particularly the shade tolerant tree seedlings, things like sugar maple. And we've got a very, another very interesting plant here. This one with the broad green leaves is wild leek or sometimes called ramps. This is a relative of onions and garlic found native in our Indiana woodlands, particularly on rich sites with good soils. And it is actually edible. And so all parts of the plant can be eaten. The tops can be used in salad or soups. And it also has a tuber that can be utilized like a small onion or garlic. You want to make sure you're getting good ID. There are some look-alikes that uh, aren't that edible, could even be toxic. So one of the things you can do is you can actually pull a little bit of the leaf off, sniff it, you should have a nice oniony odor to that. In small patches like this, I would normally just harvest some of the leaves, leave the tubers so they can continue to produce more plants in the colony. In large colonies, you can actually dig up a few of the tubers, and it'll fill in around those. So man managing and maintaining our forest understory is an important part of considering the total ecology of our forest environment. And one of the main things we can do is recognize those invasive species, like garlic mustard, Asian bush, honeysuckle, and others, and eliminate them when we see them.